hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how you can convert your modbus serial data into the opc ua data okay so if you have any project or if you have any requirement where you want to convert modbus serial device data into the opc data then you can use uh, node read to convert your modbus serial data into the opc data in this video we will see that how you can use node read to make it happen okay so if you have single modbus serial device or multiple modbus serial device then you can connect all your modbus serial device with the node read you can use node read as a modbus client or you can also say modbus master to read the data from your modbus serial device and whatever data node read will read from your modbus serial device it will publish those data or it will convert those data into the opc ua data okay we will create inbuilt opc ua server in the node read and whatever data node read is reading from modbus serial device we will publish those data into the inbuilt opc ua server of node read and then after with the help of any opc ua client we can connect with node read opc ua server and we can read the modbus serial device data okay so this is possible and we will see the demo that how is this possible and then we will understand what we have done to make it happen okay so first of all let me show you the demo so here is my node read flow this uh, this node is for to create opc us server and this four node is to read the data from my mode based serial device and to publish the data to opc us server okay now if you double click here then you can see i have set uh, opc us server port 4840 you can set other port as well and here is my endpoint url i can use this endpoint url to connect uh, from my opc ua client or i can browse the port 4840 to find the opc ua server okay here is my modbus slave software okay which will act as a modbus serial device and uh, here is our uh, ua expert software which will act as a opc ua client so if i click on the add server then i can connect with my opc us server node read opc us server in the two ways i can browse my node read opc us server or i can go to the advanced properties and i can paste the endpoint url here and then i can connect to the node read opc us server so let me show you the both way so here is our endpoint url so we will copy it we will go to advanced uh, in the ua expert software here I will specify that it's my node red OPC UA server and I'll provide the endpoint URL here and then we will select the security policy and security mode as a none. We will select the anonymous authentication and then we will press on OK. OK, we are connected. You can see Morbus device, GPIO inputs and outputs. OK, so this is what my address space look like. Now, if I remove the server from here, if I try to add server again, but not from the advanced section, from the discovery section. So I can, you know, browse my local server from here. You can see here, node red compact OPC US server. I can expand it and whatever security policy and security mode I want to uh, choose, I can choose it from here. But right now I'm going with the security policy and message mode as a none authentication is anonymous and then we will press ok and we are connected okay so there are two ways to connect with our node red compact opc us server now here if you expand this modbus device go to gpio and if you go to inputs then you will see holding register one to four i want to uh, read the data from my modbus serial device and then i want to publish the data to opc us server now okay this is the previous values okay whenever i was testing this is the previous value opc ua will hold the values okay so that is why you are seeing this value now if i you know connect this to com1 port because my com1 and com2 is internally connected with this virtual serial port driver software okay so whatever data i am providing to com1 it will be available on the com2 and my com2 is uh, uh, this node is trying to connect with the com2 okay but com1 is 
close you can see port is closed so our node thread will not able to connect with the com1 so we will open the com port 1 by using this mode bus slave software so if i go to connection if i connect and if i connect with the com1 and if i press ok the com1 is connected you can see mode bus slave is using that software and because of that our uh, node thread is also using that software now you can see value is starting updating here okay if i set zero here again zero again zero again zero you can see the value is updating so whatever value you are seeing in the more slave software the same value is uh, you know populating or publishing to the opc ua server and with the opc ua client i can read those values okay you are seeing that right so this is how you can convert your Modbus serial data into the OPC UA data. Now we have only read the holding register values. We can also read the input register values. Okay. So I can drag and drop. Uh, because of, you know, auto increment, all the values are same. So let me start from the zero. Okay. Now you can see the input register zero has a value of 26, 27. Okay. You can see that values here. Okay, so this is how you can convert your Morbus serial device data into the OPC UA data. And if you uh, if you are using uh, multiple OPC UA client, then also it is possible. So if I again open my UA expert here, okay, if we click on the plus icon, if we select our node grid, OPC UA server, and we are connected if we go to gpio and if i drag and drop all the inputs okay you can see the same value is populating here okay and our modbus slave device is updating those values so uh, you can use multiple opc ua clients as well okay to read those data and there is one more thing uh, that is possible so if i delete everything from here if i delete everything from here okay now we will expand the outputs and then i'll select coil one two three and i'll drag and drop here i'll select outputs and i'll drag and drop coil one to coil three okay if i turn off the coil one to zero then it will auto populate in this opc ua client if i turn on the coil two then it will auto populate here if i turn on the coil one from here then it will auto populate here okay so you can also um communicate between two opc ua client as well okay your data is already populating to opc ua client you can see the data if i select holding register one two four then you can see the data here okay so more bus serial to opc ua conversion is happening on its place okay but you can also talk between your two opc ua client with the uh output address space okay so i'll show you how to create those output address space and we will do everything in the opc compact opc us server and in the address space okay so i hope this thing is clear that uh, mm, how this demo works if you have connected your node with any of your mode serial device then you can read the data of your mode serial device in the node read and then you can uh, you know publish those data into opc ua server and you can connect multiple clients to read those data and also your multiple client can talk to each other okay so i hope this thing is clear now we will see uh, how i have created this one so the first uh, we will start with the uh, modbus nodes okay so this is the read uh, modbus read node okay modbus read node and this Morbus node is going to read the input register data from the unit ID 1 as you can see here unit ID is 1 for both and uh, we are going to read the input register the address is starting address is 0 and the quantity is 8 so that is why uh, I am only seeing the uh, IR from 1 to 8 here okay because I am only reading the 8 input register then after it's a polling rate so i want to read the data at every 500 milliseconds so that polling rate i have to select here and here it's our modbus serial device configuration so if you click on this pencil here so this is my modbus slave serial device 
the type is serial expert and there is one more thing right now we are using the simulator okay we are using the Morbus slave simulator so that is why i have to use virtual serial port driver to connect com1 and com2 port okay if you are using your hardware devices then you have to specify your actual com port here okay so if you have used usb to serial converter and if you have plugged your usb to serial converter in your laptop or in your system then whatever com port shows in the computer management that you have to use here then after serial type is rtu buffer if you select rtu then it will give you some error so i suggest you to use the rtu buffer and here is the uh, no, uh, serial parameter of your mobile serial device like bot rate database stop bit and the parity and rest of the thing is as it is so this is for uh, read input register node and this is for read holding register node everything is same but we are only reading the uh, five data of holding register uh, here you can see the function code 3 already same 500 millisecond and the mode serial device is also same okay so here you can see everything is same for this mode serial device because um, if you open your more bus slave software then if you disconnect or if you connect it then you can see this serial parameter is same for this two device okay so that is why we don't have to change anything we just have to change the function code here okay then after whatever data i am getting i am setting those data as a flow variables okay so you can see flow dot set ir1 and whatever uh, payload i am getting from this node okay so input register one will be my message dot payload zero so this is how i am uh, you know setting my input register one value input register two value input register three value okay and then after i'm setting uh, payload same thing i have used here uh, we are reading the holding register and then we are setting those values okay holding register one two three okay uh, right now i am not using this much of holding register so you can comment these things okay but uh, you can also leave it as it is there is no problem with it okay now we will uh, see few things about this compact opc us server so if you double click on this one then first of all i have already explained you the use of this port number okay and we have explained you the use of this endpoint url then after if you go to limits uh, the all the settings are as it is okay i will provide you the flow so you can use this flow directly you just have to change the you know port number if you want to change and if you are reading other data from your other Morbus serial devices then you have to add some nodes here okay that is that thing you have to do and then after you have to do some modification in the address space so the address space is uh, uh, very crucial in this so whatever flow variable we have set using this two function node uh, we are going to read it here okay we have read it here and then after uh, we will create our folder structure that our first folder will be Morbus device and this child folder is gpio and it has a two child folder inputs and outputs and then after we have to define all those things for each variable okay so if you have this variable uh, like ir1 then you have to define everything for the ir1 that um, this ir1 will come under which folder so it will come under the iso input folder so it will come under the inputs folder okay what will be the node id so namespace will be the one and string will be the input register underscore one what will be the data type and then we have to pass those values whatever we are getting from the flow variable okay same thing you have to copy paste for each of your variable okay so uh, here i have eight input register so i have done this for eight input register okay if you have four holding register as you can see i have four holding register so i have done it for four holding register you can see here hr1 hr2 okay so same thing you have to do for your outputs as well so you can see i saw output hr5 okay you have to provide the namespace and the uh, string or you can also provide the id and then you have to use this function to set the variable values okay so same for other holding register and uh, same for the coils 
okay i have used eight coil here i can i have show you the three coil uh, operation okay but we have eight coils in the output so you can also use those coils here to you know um, talk between the two opc devices so if we scroll down here then and then add a view i don't know much about this view but whatever variable you create you have to add it here so if i am creating gpio r2 or gpio r1 so if i search it for okay gpio r1 then i have created it for ir1 so i have to add that in a view okay so it can be visible uh, in my opc ua client okay so all those things you have to do it here there are a lot more codings in this so you have to you know code this address space and then after your opc ua server will work uh, perfectly okay so this is how i have created this uh, mode by serial to opc ua converter in the node rate. maybe you have some questions but you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere and i'll try to resolve your question as soon as possible and uh, i hope this is how you can you know convert your morbus serial data into the opc ua data and it will continuously convert your morbus serial data into opc ua data until and unless you close the flow or you just close your noted application okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can convert your morbus serial device data into the opc ua data you can do the same thing with your morbus tcp device as well you can connect your morbus tcp device and then uh, the compact server will remain as it is instead of morbus serial server you have to select the morbus tcp ip okay and uh, um, based on the morbus tcp ip server you have to provide the ip address and port number and all those things for morbus tcp communication okay so i hope this thing is clear that how you can convert your morbus serial data into the opc ua data and if you still have any question or any concern then you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere um, i know this is very uh, long process or very ticky process but it will be very helpful in the industry where you want to convert your morbus serial data into opc ua data and your opc ua data can be used by any other application like you can also use this data in the scada you can also use this data in the cap server you can also in communicate uh, your plc with this opc ua server and you can read the data from your um, morbus serial device if your plc doesn't support the morbus serial communication or there are some constraint in that case we require this kind of solution so i hope everything is okay so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video i'll show you the same thing with the morbus tcp device okay so instead of using this virtual serial port driver software we are directly communicating with the morbus layer software with morbus tcp communication and uh, the flow will remain as it is instead of uh, morbus serial server we are going to use the morbus tcp server okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you have some question or queries then you know where to ask so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you